Kim here with ShockerRacing.com. We're just here to do another how-to video. I'm here with my 2016 Porsche Cayman 981. I'm going to show you how to set up your home link garage door system. Let's get started. To begin, we're going to have to delete the previous codes from our previous house because we just moved. So, in order to do this, you're going to take your key and you're going to put it in the ignition. You're going to turn it to the on setting, but remember, we're not starting the car. And then when you're done with that, you're going to look at the buttons above your rear view mirror. There's a one button and a three button, and you're going to hold those in for 20 seconds until you see the light flashing in the two spot, the button with the two on it, there's a light there, and it's going to flash rapidly, and then you know you need to stop. All right, as you can see, I have the car to the on position, but it is not turned on. The engine is not on. And now, I'm going to hold in the two buttons, the number one button and the number three button above your rear view mirror. I'm going to hold these in for 20 seconds until the light on the number two button flashes rapidly. Here I am holding in the one and the three button, and we're waiting for that light to flash rapidly. and then let go. After you see that flashing light, that should reset all your codes. Now that we have cleared all the previous codes, we're going to enter our new codes so that you can use your garage door opener. You will need your key, obviously, and the garage door opener for the garage door that you are trying to program. Once again, you're going to turn on the car to the on position, but the engine is not started. All right, next, you're gonna choose the desired button. Do you want this garage door for button one, two, or three? I'm going to set my new garage door opener to button one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push and hold down button one until that light that flashes on button two flashes slowly. So I'm going to hold that down, pushing it in, and we're waiting until it flashes slowly. Now that it's flashing slowly, I have five minutes to get out around the car and do the next step. Come follow me. So I'm getting around, and I have to stand about 12 inches from the hood of the car. I'm going to aim my garage door opener to the hood of the car. I'm going to do this for about a minute, and I'll know it's set when the blinker lights are blinking. Ready? The blinker lights are blinking. It should be set. Let's check it out. As you can see, my garage door is currently up. And I'm going to push that number one button where I programmed it. Fingers crossed, I hope it works. And it does. The garage is going down. It's that simple. So, you can program one garage door opener or many with the other buttons. You just do that same step. Press the desired button, hold it till it blinks slowly, get out in front of the car, and take your garage door opener, hold it 12 inches away until those flat um, turn signal lights flash, and you're good to go. Like the video, subscribe to us on YouTube, and head over to ShockerRacing.com for more great features.